In the previous video, we created a variable and bound it to a view component property using the binding editor. In this video, we'll take a closer look at bindings and how they work in different situations. A binding refers to two or more values becoming tied together. This is different from explicitly setting a value, something we also did in the last video with the set page variable flow function. Bindings are useful in situations where the bound values are updated frequently but predictably based on their source value. In Composer, binding a property to a source causes the property to automatically update as the source updates. This is why the paragraph content bound to the page variable automatically updates when the variable value is updated. Bindings can also work both ways. To illustrate this, let's again create a page variable. We'll call it input text and it will be of the text type. Also, let's give it an initial value of type here. Then let's again bind it to a paragraph component's content property. This binding is one way, which means the paragraph component can't change the source value. Now let's create an input field component. The input field component's value property represents whatever is typed into the field. Let's bind the value property to the input text variable. We can see now that the input field gets the initial value of the variable, but also that when we type into the field, the variable value changes. This is called a two-way binding. The current binding source and binding type can be inspected from the property icons. So, everything we just did was created a page variable, bound it to the content property of a paragraph, which is a one-way binding. Then we bound it to the value property of an input field component, which is a two-way binding. Things you now know about bindings. Bindings tie one or more values together with automatic updates based on source value. Bindings can work one-way or two-way.